pearls. That is quite odd. Focusing on looks a lot like a pearl. Strange. Look, I got the focusing orb. Go me, go me. Ah, excellent. I will open the doors for you. Beyond them, you will face another puzzle before getting to the inner sanctum. Once you have passed it, place the orb on the pedestal. Then the frog will lift. Great! Thank you, O oh, Ancient One. I'm 52. Wow! And I thought only Coral lived that long. Hello everyone, welcome back, this is Game Boy M, and we're doing the Spongebob Squarepants movie PC game. This is part A, and in the last part, we just solved all the mystery. Hey, that was at the Hotel Deep Six, and so we covered where Victoria Ellen's pearls, and she gave us a, us a strange orb, and it happened to be the focusing orb, or as mentioned, and by the world man. And now we need to get through to, to the inner sanctum of, of the crustacean caverns and place the pet, place the orb on the uh, pedestal. But first, let's look into the pool of perception. Okay, let's give this pool of the future a try. What was that supposed to be? Hey, older person, this thing doesn't seem to be working. What was that supposed to be? Hey, older person, this thing doesn't seem to be working. Or does it? Let's look again. Let me give this pool another try. I knew the pink door was the right one. Wow, this pool is strange. This looks familiar. Welcome to the confounding corridors of Crustacean Caverns, Part 2, The Riffin. Part 1 was way better. Follow the lights, or you will surely be lost. Here we go again. Wow, look at these doors. They must be the doors of deception. And that cow cow mentioned me. And but which one leads into the inner sanctum of the caverns? Do you remember that? The second time? Set it. Uh, SpongeBob in the future. Set The pink door was the right one. It's a bullseye. There's a hole in the center. Looks like it goes outside somewhere. It's some kind of crazy pedestal thing. There's a place for something round on top, but there's nothing in it. Let's place the orb on the pedestal. Wow. Wow, it's like magic! Without the rabbit! Woo! The light cuts through the fog! We should follow it. The fog is cleared up. Now SpongeBob and Patrick can continue their journey to show city. Having conquered the French, SpongeBob and Patrick have a swagger in their step, knowing that the worst is behind them. 
Unfortunately, they do not realize how true that is, for an assassin is stealthily tracking them. Higher blood plankton to stop their meddling. He has been gaining ground on them steadily. I'll get you, yellow guy. Chapter 6 A Pain in the Back. We gotta push on, Patrick. We're making good time. My feet hurt. Mine too. We can't let it get to us, though. We're men. Hey, maybe we should go see that guy. In pain? Come see Dr. Louie. He'll make you guys feel better. I'm in pain, I'm in pain. I don't know, Patrick. Doctors are scary. Maybe he has lollipops. You make a good point. Who are those two in front of the, the clinic? Hi! What's going on, guys? We are protesting on their fleet loans at the hands of the chiropractic overlords. What the chiropractic? A chiropractor is a doctor who treats the back and spine. And we are not going to take the injustice say to you any longer. Oh, I don't have a spine. I'm a sponge. So I guess I can't join you guys. You are speaking the nonsense. We are all invertebrates at this rally. None of us have spines. Oh, well, and what good is a chiropractic? You are missing the point. We are protesting the right to see this chiropractic charlatan. None of us actually want to see him. We just want their right to do so. Patrick, this sounds like a job for two men. Squidward and Mr. Krabs? Uh, no. Remain man and particle boy? Nope. I give up, I give up. You and me, Patrick. It is our duty as men to help these people iron out their differences. Hello? You just reminded me of something really important. What's that? I think I left the iron on at home. <sighs> So we have decided to help you come to an agreement. Take me to your leader. Ha <laughs> ha! Marius, get a load of the yellow one. He wants to see Octavio. Ha <laughs> As if anyone off the streets can demand to see Octavio. Octavio? Yes! He is a generalissimo of the inverted plates. And he does not see just anybody. He is a busy man. He does not have time to chit chat with the riffraff. Does he have time to fiddle battle with the flim flam? I do not ask him about his personal business. So what would I need to do to get to see Octavio? Well, I would need proof that you are serious about helping our cause. If you could bring a piece of a ring from the despicable Dr. Louis, then I think we could do business. I'm on it! Okay, I'm gonna go. Viva la revolution! I don't need to use that now. Good afternoon, ma'am. Hi. Can I help you? I'm here to see the doctor. That's nice. Do you have an appointment? Not as such. Hmm. Well, he's a pretty busy guy. Let me see what I can do. What's your name? SpongeBob SquarePants. No, seriously. SpongeBob SquarePants. Do your parents not like you? They love me. Why? Just curious. Anyway, what species are you? I'm a sponge. A sponge, huh? Well, I'm sorry, Mr. Squarepants, but Dr. Louie is a chiropractor. Yep. Well, a chiropractor deals with bones, the backbone, or spine. Uh-huh. Well, how can I put this? You are an invertebrate. Yep. So, you have no spine, no bones. How can you be treated by a back doctor if you have no back? Very carefully. No, I'm sorry. Unless you have a spine, you cannot see Dr. Louie. Barnacles. Are you aware that there's a protest going on outside the office? I guess. If you can call two people to protest. They're upset that the doctor won't treat them. It's not that he won't treat them. It's that he can't treat them. Are you even listening to me at all? They have no bones. It's not nice to tell someone they have no bones. It's a tough world, little guy. 
Isn't there any way I can see Dr. Louie? Yeah, there is a way. Get a spine. Then I'll pencil you in. Good day to you, ma'am. Bye. Sea urchin type spine. That's very That sea urchin won't miss one little spine. He's got hundreds. Hi, it's me again. I could tell because my heart went all a flutter. So, guess who has a spine? Not you. You're a sponge. Wrongo. What is this? Uh, it's a sea urchin spine. Exactly. So let me in. I'm going to see the doctor. You have missed the point entirely. Patrick, did not this kind lady say earlier that if I got a spine, I could see Dr. Louie? She did, she did, I heard her! And I do believe this is a spine. Ergo, therefore, and thusly, you should honor your word. Oh, I don't get paid enough for this. Fine. Give me a moment. Patrick, we are quite possibly the smartest creatures living under the sea. Did you see her? She was all confused. <laughs> it must be hard being so stupid. Whoa, wait a minute. We live under the sea. She's back. Okay, you can see Dr. Louie now. Hooray! You gross. Yeah, hospital stuff creeps me out. I can't look in those cabinets. It's not my business. And besides, there's probably needles and stuff in there. Oh, <laughs> you got Hello. What seems to be the problem? I'm here to talk about the protest you have going on outside. Oh, that. Yeah, those guys are kind of getting on my nerves. But the big one, he scares me. Always looking at me kind of shifty and stuff. Why won't you treat them? Hey, I'd be happy to treat them if that's what they want. Wouldn't help them, of course, being that they're boneless. But I'll do what I can. The problem is, they're pretty touchy, especially the leader. I spoke with a member of the revolution, and he said that if I could bring him a peace offering, he'd help me reach Octavio. Really? That's good news. Got anything I can bring him? Hmm, he could take my stethoscope. You think that'll do? Maybe. Thanks. Hi, it's me again. Mon Dieu, don't scare me with your infectious happiness. I got a peace offering from the doctor. Hmm, this will do just fine, baby. I will tell you the password to get past Dr. Fabio's personal guard, but it will not be enough. You will need to wear the outfit of La Revolution. Talk to my friend Marius. He has an extra one. Okay, what's the password? The password is sticks and stones can't break our bones because we don't have any. More like a passphrase, really. Whatever. Hi there, big fella. You want something? No. You are quite possibly the largest starfish I've ever seen. Yes, it is in my genes. That those genes have a size 46 weight. Bye, I, I, I. Uh, <laughs> a little denim humor. Don't push it. Your friend over there said that you had an extra black turtleneck that I could wear. I do. You can have it, but I'm afraid it won't fit. Thanks. Do you know what's going on here? Of course I do. I am a soldier in the Revolutionary Army. I fight for all invertebrates everywhere. Well, when I say fight, I mean stage protest. But it is every bit as noble. If you guys are protesters, shouldn't you have signs and be chanting slogans and stuff? 
That's what I said. But our leader Octavio said, it's better we just stand around outside this year place. Mm -hmm. And you know, you do that very well. Okay, I'm going to go. Viva la revolution! We'll continue in the next part. See you.